Hello, I have been letting this Commodore 64 burn in for, well, overnight, and then some. So let's turn it on, with the screen on, and see where we're at. Okay, so it is still running the 64 dead test. And it has run it. 741 times, and so far it seems without any errors. This is a good sign. As you may have noticed earlier, when we were testing things, some 64s appeared to be fine, and then very quickly were not fine. This one seems, I hesitate to say, rock solid. Oh, don't worry about those letters vanishing. That's all part of the testing. And, assuming all goes well, and I'm assuming it will go well, I'm hoping, the SID ship will sing, and life is good. But we shall see. So far, this 64 dead test... Oh, there's the SID ship. So far, this supposed dead test um, thing, uh, any machines that I put it in that appeared to be dead, um, it didn't do much of anything. Well, didn't really do anything at all. Anyway, I'll work on that. But it does seem to have proved that this machine is uh, reliable and happy. And it looks cosmetically nice. It has the Commodore 64 rainbow on the top. It has kind of the gentle orange function keys. So, um, anyway, I'm pleased that this one seems to have survived its testing. And now I will move on to find... Um, another power supply. The one, the, I had another power supply here um, that had been sitting for a while, but unfortunately I don't trust it. Um, I think I made a mistake in that it was plugged into a power bar and the power bar was on and it sat there for a very long time, so, which means it actually did have um, power to it and I guess it thought it was doing something. But anyway, if it was going to fail, it's good to find out that it's going to fail in that way. And some other so I will now seek out a suitable oh, there we go again I will suit out a seek out a suitable power supply for this vintage machine it should be black and it should probably be one of the bricks with the cooling fins um and then I will find a suitable matching 1541, which should not be any trouble, because if any of you have been watching, you know that I have uh, quite a few 1541s. Then, um, I'm not sure if what's going to go with this thing is going to be one of my monitors, or one of my friend's monitors, who has a couple of monitors. But I will seek a... A video cable that will let me plug into the back of the monitor, because that gives a better picture. Um, and then I must hunt for joysticks. Preferably matching joysticks. Which I'm sure I have somewhere. Anyway, so as this is running its test for the 743rd time, which actually should probably run it more than that, because I think I did at one point come and check it and reset it just to make sure all was well and good. So I deem this Commodore 64 happy and worthy, I suppose. Oh, there's Mr. Sidship. That was easy. I suppose I should open it up and have a look inside and just make sure everything is looking dandy and um, maybe even just double check all the 
solder connections at the joystick ports. And, well, I suppose I should actually plug joysticks in and try something. But, um, certainly I'll look at all the connections on the bottom that have a tendency to become cold solder joints. Where, yeah, they're making connection, but the solder has broken. And usually it is the power connector or the joystick ports because they get a lot of use, perhaps even abuse. And if any of those are cold solder joints, I'll heat them up and make them happy. But yes, I will, um, I will find a game that needs joysticks and test it out on this. Because I certainly don't want this to make its journey and then find out that something is deficient. So, all is well and good with this Commodore 64. So saith the dead test, which basically says it's not dead. So, that is a relief. Oh. So we'll sign off with the successful testing of the SID chip. Stay tuned. More intriguing episodes to come.